RVs are hot right now, and this one is no exception. Check out this 2022 Heartland Elk Ridge 38 MB. I think you're going to love the floor plan. As a matter of fact, we've got a viewer, Aaron, that I think when I saw this interior, I thought of him immediately as we see the leveling jacks on the front. And then also behind this door is the 30 pound LP bottle. We have one on each side. So this RV is offered by Bourbon RV in Bourbon, Missouri and has a sale price of $76,995. That's a nice discount on this unit. Here we see the pass-through storage. You can also see the front storage. So it's all one large storage area, very convenient. And then you also have your hookups for your uh, satellite and it's a nice lockable storage. So let's take a look at this RV and give you some of the vitals as we look around the exterior. It sleeps eight, slide has four slides. It's 42 and a half feet long. There's the floor plan you can see, and there's a hidden gem in there for Aaron. The exterior width is eight feet. The exterior height is 13.3, so it's a tall one. Tandem axle, as you see right there, and you see the 38 MB badging. So as we, re we return to our regular scheduled program, you saw some of the hidden gems in this, and I started to give you some of the vitals. The hitch weight is 24.7. Gross weight is 16,000 pounds, so it's a big one. Dry weight is 13,132, so that cargo is 2742. Your tanks, 65, 90, and 45. As we look down the hallway into the bedroom, and you can see a peak at the, uh, the bunk above. So it's kind of a, a, this is really a neat floor plan. There, there you see the controls for the awning as well as the uh, LED lights. As we step inside, take a look at this uh, bonus room. And uh, Aaron is one of my viewers. He's always asking about office space. And I think this would work really well. You could put a desk in the slide out and then have your uh, chair. And then you just have a swivel so you could swivel around and watch TV if you wanted to. Then you have your book storage and, and all the uh, wall storage here. So to me, this is a nice setup for a potential office operation as you travel across the country. You know, COVID has really changed the way we uh, conduct ourselves as we step out in the hallway and, and close off that room. Love to hear Aaron's comments. And uh, we'll get back to the uh, vital. So the furnace is a 35,000 BTU. And uh, I failed to mention, I did mention as a tandem axle, but the tire size is 16 foot. Here we have above uh, theater seating cabinet storage. And then you can see the theater seating as well as the uh, compartment for your remotes. One of the things I like to recommend is take your cell phone and uh, pitch it in there and enjoy the weekend. These are tall cabinets, real tall. And uh, you can see the above cabinet storage here. So they're close to eight feet tall. This is a tall, tall RV. So again, sleeps eight and then has four slides here we have a, a a fireplace as well as a nice size flat screen tv there you see the uh, size 50 incher plenty of drawer and cabinet space the water heater capacity is 12 gallons and then uh, the awning i i uh, didn't say it was a 20 foot awning electric awning with led lighting and again, now we're stepping into the kitchen, but full length drawers. So plenty of drawers, plenty of cabinets. Love the backsplash on the countertop here, that subway tile and a very nice microwave, as well as a cabinet above the microwave for cookie sheets or pizza, pizza pans, three burner cooktop, and then a very nice size oven, as we see right here. There are bigger ovens out there, but this one is a nice size oven. And I think you'll like the uh, microwave as well as the refrigerator. So nice appliances on this unit. Look at the length of that drawer. That is fully extended and that's a big drawer. And then we have a couple drawers as well as a nice stainless steel farmer sink with a drying rack on top and then a swan neck 
faucet with a uh, spray nozzle that you see right here. And then un under cabinet storage here as well. So you can put your cleaning supplies and uh, other, you know, garbage can, that type of thing. So as far as the refrigerator is concerned, it's a 14.9 cubic foot refrigerator and freezer. So it's a, a little bit smaller than a residential, but it is awfully nice. You can see the French doors, nice setup here. It's probably more than you're gonna need, but if you fill it up with barley pop, you're gonna need a little bit more space. So it does come in handy. And then when you see the amount of cabinet storage in this uh, kitchen area, you get dizzy opening up all the cabinets. I try to open all the cabinets, all the drawers, so people can get a, a good idea of the storage capacity. You know, some people are into storage capacity. Some people don't really, uh, it's not that big of a deal. It's like an automobile. Some people love to look at the engine, look at the trunk. Some people just don't even care. So to each his own as we open up more cabinets. So the link to Bourbon's RV, Bourbon RV's inventory is down below. Here you take a peek at the, the um, bonus area above the bonus room. So these steps right here lead up to it. And boy, if, if I was a kid, I would just love this area up here. You got a window. You can also look out over the family room. So when you're told to go to bed and mom and dad are still watching a movie, you can sit there at the top and look out. Nice bathroom, walk-in shower, plenty of storage here as well for rolled up towels or blankets. Extra, plenty of extra towels. Then you have a nice shower enclosure with a hand wand shower handle or nozzle. And then you also have a skylight more storage underneath the sink. And then you also have a nice deep counter or a cabinet for your medicine cabinet. As we step into the master bedroom, so that's a king size bed. It looks big and it is big. And you also have shelves on both left and right side from the king size bed. So you can put your CPAP if you have one or you can put your cell phones. But then again, if you threw them in the uh, little compartment in the theater seating, you wouldn't have to put them up there. So good advice, throw them in the other room. Here we're pre-wired, pre-plumbed for stackable washer and dryer, or you've got a nice hang-up rod for additional clothing. But look at the size of this closet. So you have a shelf above, and then you also have a clothes, clothing rod for, for additional hang-up clothes. So this, this RV has a tremendous amount of basement storage and then also indoor storage. We appreciate you watching the video. Please uh, consider giving us a thumbs up. And when you're running a video, holding a camera with one hand and trying to do uh, open up the bed or lift it up, it's not the easiest thing to do. So we'll just move on. But as I was saying, please consider subscribing to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. YouTube has an algorithm that uh, the more thumbs up you get, that uh, that video is pushed to the front and out in front of more people. So we appreciate it as we try to grow this channel. And again, the inventory is at bourbonrv.com. And check out their inventory. Exit 218 on Highway 44 in Missouri. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.